let's do an NLP session for you. But before I do that, I want you to realize that every now and then I will do an NLP session. Sometimes, since I'm a hypnotherapist also, I'll do a hypnotherapy session, even in an NLP class, and that's okay. The idea is that I'm giving everyone a mental break, so it's, it's time to just, you've got a lot of information, let's take a little break. It's also an opportunity for them to assimilate that information using the technology of NLP and or hypnotherapy. So every now and then when you teach a class, I want you to get in the habit of this. Having a time where you say, okay, everybody put your pen and paper down, everything. just don't worry about taking notes about this, just everybody check out for a minute and close your eyes, and you can even dim the lights. And in an NLP session, really all you need to do is say close your eyes and you go right into it. If you want to, if you're a hypnotherapist and you want to work that in, then it's going to take possibly a little bit longer if you do uh, relaxation induction, but uh, at any rate, it's a great practice to every now and then do this. And it helps you, it gives you an opportunity to make sure that everything's solid in their minds because it gives you a chance to, to go over certain key concepts or have them go over certain key concepts. It gives you a chance to have them look to the future at a time when they'll be using this because sometimes students who are learning a lot in classes start to think, wow, this is a lot of information. I've got a lot to learn here. How am I ever going to assimilate this? How am I ever going to use this? How am I ever even going to remember all of this? This is a lot of information. So it helps you give them a little break and imagine the possibilities using the VAK. It helps you put them in the driver's seat again where they're, they're saying, okay, I can do this. I'm fine. I'm on board with this. Plus, when they come out of the session, they're more relaxed, more uh, energetic at the same time, they're ready to learn again. So let's take a little break as long as you're not operating a motor vehicle and let's do an NLP session just for you. So if you're not operating a motor vehicle, go ahead and close your eyes and you realize that you've learned a lot of information today. You realize that in this program you've learned a lot of information in general. And I want you now to start seeing it in categories in your mind. That's right. Imagine it's all being categorized in your mind, being put into folders. You're going to be a teacher of NLP. So it's important for you to have everything organized in your mind. So imagine everything in the practitioner class organized in your mind in different folders. That's right. Nice and neat. Imagine everything in the master level class organized in your mind in little folders, very well organized. And you realize that anything that you need to brush up on, anything you need to study more thoroughly, you're going to. You're going to make that happen. You're going to make a mental note of it. And you're going to make sure that that folder has been studied thoroughly so that you have a conscious recollection of it when you need it. So you're going to become very diligent about brushing up on things, making sure that they are right at the tip of your tongue. So you, at any time, if anyone asks you about any technique, you will be able to talk about it. Talk about it in a way that shows that you thoroughly understand it. Imagine everything you've learned so far in this program the trainer's program. Nice, neat folders. Everything's organized. Imagine everything you're going to learn that you haven't learned yet. You've got empty folders for that information. That information is going to go into those folders and you're going to have a recollection of it. Conscious recollection. Good. I want you to realize that this filing system is real. This is your filing system. Everything that you have learned about NLP can be found in these files. Everything is well organized. Everything is available to you. And I want you now to see those folders in more detail. See the colors of them. Notice if they're moving. And you can hear them 
You make certain sounds. And if you were to reach out in your mind and pick one up, you could feel it. And if you open it up, you can read it. And as you read it, you can hear it. You can hear the information. That's how clear it is in your mind. All of the information you have learned. It's real in your mind. You can see it. You can hear it. You can feel it. It's solid in your mind. Every day it's becoming more solid. As you learn more, and as you're able to recall more, you realize that you're going to be an outstanding NLP practitioner and an outstanding NLP trainer. So see yourself one year from now. See yourself feeling good about yourself. Standing tall, breathing in confidence. When you exhale, you let go of any fear. It's very little fear, but if there is any, you let go of it. Breathe in satisfaction in a year well spent. Exhale any doubt. Good. Breathe in a sense of accomplishment, a good feeling that comes from helping people. Helping people help other people. Breathe that in. As you exhale, let go of any doubt. Let the rest of it go. That's right. You're in the future now, one year from now. You've moved on your timeline into the future. Standing in your power. It's been a wonderful year. You've done some trainings. You've worked with some clients. You have had a tremendous year. You have made positive changes in people's lives. Good. Now come back to the present. Come back with all those good feelings. That's right. Bring that with you. All of those good feelings. Good feelings of power and accomplishment. All positive. All wonderful. All amazing. Because you are positive, wonderful, and amazing. You are a gift to this world. Your powers are helping to change the lives of others. And now you are willing to help other people learn the technology that you have learned so that they can positively affect the lives of other people. All right now. Open your eyes. And realize just how powerful you are. All right. So if you want, you can shake that off. And that is something that I want you to get in the habit of doing. And you can incorporate any NLP technique that you want during that. There are all sorts of techniques that you can put in there. You can use all of the techniques that you've taught so far that day and show people how to do them if you want. Or you can keep it simple and relaxing. I like to lean more toward relaxing because I really, during those sessions, I don't want people thinking about a lot of things that are new to them and maybe a little complex in their minds so far. I just want them to check out for a little while. So I want to keep it fairly basic. I want to just give them some power and some motivation to continue on, not just throughout the day, but throughout the training. Not just throughout the training, but throughout the rest of their lives. I want them to be able to continue on on these steps that they must take. That's what I'm shooting for. So you can do it any way you want, but just realize that when people get a little mental break every now and then, they really appreciate it just as much as they do those little five-minute breaks that you're going to give them. They really appreciate it. They really respect the fact that you're taking time from all this information that you're feeding to their brains and letting them take a little sidestep and you're giving them this mental break that's going to really help them. So it shows your, your loving concern for them and it allows them to take a break. So use this every now and then, NLP for them, and allow them to feel what it's like to, to experience a, a type of NLP session and to feel the fact that you really do care about them.